Hello and welcome back to Football Scrutiny for part two of the 4-3-3 playing account. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Football Scrutiny for the second part of playing out with the 4-3-3 against the 4-4-2 diamond press. So last time, if you remember, we talked about the ball being played into the centre back and the options of playing into the full back and then into the seven or into the eight, dropping behind the 11 when he comes to press. And also with the pass going back into the goalkeeper, looking to switch the play onto the opposite side once the seven has shifted across. And what was the other options that we talked about? Uh, potentially playing through the middle or into the six, dropping off to receive once the nine and 10 have pressed. So today we're gonna to talk about the different options. So this time we're gonna talk about passes coming in to the fullback high. We're gonna talk about passes long into the central striker and the offloads into the number 10 and the number eight. So. Let's just get straight into it. So this time we're going to start with our eights and our tens here. And we're really going to make them fake coming in to receive. So both of them dropping, hopefully forcing the 11 and the 7 forward with them. Therefore creating extra space. And that extra space we can now make the most of with different players. So I'm just going to put this in. So the seven was here. So really that was the space. And now by our number eight and our number 10, I should put it in, that's the back. Moving forward, we've now increased that space. So we've increased that space from that to that. It doesn't sound like much, but it really is, because that is about five to 10 meters in a game of football. So, what are my options now? My options are, can I just play the ball straight over into here and get my fullback to run on high and receive and take the first touch forward? That would be my preference. I like that. Um, if this 11 is attentive to it, then, quite simply, we're going to play the ball. Let's put him back. We're going to play the ball into the sides of the number six. Obviously, you try to determine the characteristics of the opposition players. So if the number six is tall, big and strong, physical number six, maybe you're not going to play this ball. If this is someone like Verratti, he's not a big defensive midfielder and he's just aggressive then perhaps this is an option for us so either side of him try and play the ball into these areas here for our number nine to drop into either receive on his chest and play it forward or just to offload with his head so what I want my eight and tens to do is now that they've dropped in knowing that the options are there as soon as they've dropped in immediately get forward bam bam Try and see if he offloads into here, or if he's coming this way, the likelihood is that we're gonna have more space if he offload, offloads it into here. As soon as that ball is offloaded into here, that's when I want my seven, boom, getting in behind that space or in behind here, and I want my 11 doing exactly the same in behind here, looking for that offload into my eight or the number 10 straight in behind that high defensive line and try and get in behind them. So those are two of my favoured movements. Now, what other movements are there? Okay, let's start by putting the players back into their positions. A little bit like this, like this, put them in the middle, put number six back in the middle. Nine, ten, yeah, that looks more or less right. So ball back with the goalkeeper. What are the other options? Well, if the eight drops in and the 11 goes with him, then of course we could play the ball straight into the number 11, uh, sorry, number seven, one of the wingers, for an offload into the fullback. Presuming now then the three is gonna come forward, 
then you've got the option for a pass in behind for the seven or for the number nine to get in. So that's another option. Another option, which is a little bit more difficult to execute, is the chipped pass from the goalkeeper. So with our number eight and number 10 making those movements to try and bring the seven and 11, you can also just have the goalkeeper, if he's good enough, just to chip the ball into that space and have our eight or our number 10 receive. I quite like that. I've seen it done, it works. If you've got a clever number eight who's good at controlling the ball and then moving forward, it does work. So yeah, those are the different options for the 4-3-3 playing out against the 4-4-2 Diamond Press. If you've got any other ways of playing out which you'd like to put in the comment section below, we'd really like to hear We'd really like to hear them. Please get the comments down there. See what you think. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this tactics talk by Football Scrutiny. And we'll be back again soon with more.